pushed each other and just wanted the best for each other so much in the team. Whereas people, we were we were we were thinking individually. Nobody thought about trying to go to the league too early and none of that stuff. All of us just wanted to win now. Talk about being a blocker for so long, finally catching on a bunch of passes this year. How rewarding was that? It was very rewarding. I mean, I was trying to patiently wait for my chance, and it finally came. I just made the best of what I got. Are you surprised at how well you did this year? I mean, I'm, I'm not really surprised because I, I really busted my butt this offseason, so I knew I had to have a great year because I worked too hard not to. You talk about, did you pay much attention to recruiting rankings when you come out of high school? You were a two-star recruit, but you probably far exceeded that. Is that something you paid attention to? Oh, of course. I pushed me since day one I got here. You know, I got here, four or five-star players around me. Nobody was expecting me to touch the field, really, so I just wanted to prove, prove everybody wrong. I was more than a two-star player. Talk about the success the program has had. You guys have been to a bowl game every year. You've been here. That's pretty unprecedented in school history. Is that fairly rewarding? It's, re it's rewarding, but I mean, that's what we came here for. We wanted to make, we wanted to make a change around here. We didn't, anything, not going to not going to the bowl game was unacceptable in the year we were here. So. Do you have any clue who they're going who they're going to get to do all the blocking you've done the last, <laughs> the last year? I, I, I don't even know. Say my throw Drew was in there. You never know. One of the boys gonna step up this year. I feel it. Did you play the role of mentor this year? You know, kind of to the younger guys, changing you know, the guard, so to speak. Yeah, I have. Like I just try to just leave a, a hard, hard work at you know, and those guys. I know they can be real great players. I, I love all of them. They're my boys. I know they, they come to work for me every day, so I try to get them all I got every day as far as teaching them new things and showing them, showing them the ways to playing to be a great tight end. What's next for you after this? Who knows? I mean, hopefully I can get picked up somewhere, hopefully I can do pretty good at the combine or something, get where I got to be in life. You talked a little bit about being unheralded. Was there a moment early on in your career where the, you and the coaches knew that you were going to be a better player than that two-star guy coming out, coming in? There was a time where I knew I was going to be better. The coaches, I, I wouldn't know. I mean, they just, as long as they gave me a chance, they made me feel like they believed in me a little bit. So as long as they gave me chances, I felt like they had faith in me. Are you, are you hoping to, to secure an invite to the NFL Combine? Have you heard any, any feedback at all from any NFL people about that? Any chances of getting to Indianapolis? I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything. I'm hoping to get an invite, get to show what I can do. You playing any of the uh, postseason, the All-Star games, anything like that? Senior Bowl, East West Shrine game? As far as, as, far as I know, not right now. Not right now. What stands out to you about Michigan's defense? What about Michigan's defense stands out? Prior to how hard they play every play, I mean, they Players on their players on their front line, they go hard every play. I mean, from the beginning to the end to the whistle, they're very physical. And they seem like they like to play football. Any players stand out to you in particular? I like Row 88. He's a, he's a big dude that works real hard. He's a hustle player, and I like players like that.